Hello and welcome to the Beniverse. Today I am talking about the film The Harder Day Fall, which is a Netflix release film starring Jonathan Majors, Idris Elba, Zaze Beats, Regina King, Delroy Lindo, and Lakeith Stanfield. And it's produced by Jay Z and it's directed by Jamess Samuel. And this is a Western, but it's called specifically a revisionist Western because one, it's an all black cast which is something that is not seen in the Western genre ever. And it takes these characters who were real, all these figures that are in the movie who are based on actual historical figures, but it reimagines them. This is not a story based on true events, rather a reimagining of these characters. And this movie is really good. It has this visceral style to it. It feels very different. Maybe it's because, of course, that this is a movie that is proud of its cast of its blackness essentially and it has this rhythm to it it's kind of direction that samuel does it's amazing like just from the opening shot the first five minutes you can tell that this isn't like anything you've seen in this genre and it feels new and exciting and bold and this all comes down to really Jamess Samuel, who is a star, he's able to balance this over the top feel to it, yet it still takes itself serious. And he's able to conf- infuse this kinetic energy that keeps, again, the film unique and exciting. And Samuel, as a s- director, he, I kind of compare him to. Quentin Tarantino, Robert Rodriguez, Spike Lee, in terms of style, it's very apparent and it's very abrasive, but it also feels wholly of its own. And just the way he's able to utilize the camera, he does these long tracks, he does a lot of framing devices, It's he at times switches to handheld, which gives it a kinetic feel, he's able to use slow motion well, and the violence is all outstanding because of it this film's action is incredible because of his eye for setting a scene and setting the tone and it's like it's this breath of fresh air in a genre that for me at least feels very stiff a lot of the time and it's totally great like i said it shifts between something that could feel over the top but yet is fully grounded but it's never just grim it is fun it's amazing how fun this film is despite its serious subject matter of jonathan majors being the main character going out for revenge against idris elba who plays the villain for this past that they have and jonathan majors is just proving himself to be a great leading man from loki to this role you can just see this charisma with him And he just has this great presence on screen and pulls off the action well. And talking about guys who just pull off the action so well, Lakeith Stanfield is amazing in this movie. His presence is just felt. There's an intimidation factor to him. He's the ultimate badass as Cherokee. I believe it's Cherokee Bill in this movie. And the whole ensemble is excellent. From Regina King, who plays the role of a villain really well Idris Elba of course when you have Idris Elba in it it's going to be an amazing performance and he never disappoints and again he doesn't Zaze Beats plays a kind of the love interest to majors and they have a great chemistry and it's it's all great and like I said it the thing that delivers this movie so well is the action is top notch it's bloody it's fast paced it's abrasive it's just just some of the best framed action scene i've seen the cinematography the use of slow-mo and it only enhances the violence but again while being over the top it's still serious and fits within the world that he's creating the music score throughout is incredible and the use of rap music is fantastic i should mention that jay-z again as producer samuel Uh, has directed a bunch of Jay-Z's music videos. So there is this inherent trust and willingness uh, for Jay-Z to trust Samuel to add this style to it. And it all leads up to this great third act finale, which 
if you know western films you know how this third act is going to go and it is fairly formulaic but the action is so great that it doesn't matter it is style and maybe at times over substance but that style is so good that you don't it doesn't bother you that sometimes that story does drag and that's what i'm talking about the substance at two hours and 20 minutes it's about 10 to 15 minutes too long i wish there was a little bit of editing definitely towards the second act because it drags on a bit and the story does feel a little slow at stretches of it but besides that it, it is a really entertaining exciting over the top fun just fun western film that i think audiences are going to enjoy and i know i enjoyed and there's going to be certain action scenes that i will revisit for years to come so anyway that's my review of the harder they fall this is my 24th review of my advent movie reviews so i have one more to go uh in the month of December. So thank you guys for listening. Take care and bye-bye.